Yo, yo, what's up, dog? It's me, T-Star, your favorite gaming YouTube personality, and I'm here bringing you heritage, boy! Well, that was fucking cringeworthy. I'm gonna edit that out. Pfft look fucking stupid. So this is Heritage, a game I know nothing about that I got off Game Jolt for free. And because I got it off Game Jolt, what do you think the odds are that this controller is going to work with the game? Not likely. So like most Game Jolt games, the title screen is bare bones. We have new game, we have credits, which you'll see the credits at the end of the fucking game anyways. I guess it's good for people who want to see who made the game before they play the game. It's not like you can just Google that shit or something. And then there's quit, which I hope I won't have to hit, but if the game sucks, I'll have no choice. Oh, and what's this? Down here in the corner? English and French. A whole two fucking languages to play this game in? Wow! The variety is stunning. Let's just play the fucking game. Alright, that's it. No intro, no story, fucking nothing. You just start right here. Alright. <laughs> what? Oh my god, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I can use the controller! The controller actually works! <laughs> Developer, I owe you an apology. I did not think that you were going to implement controller support because so many people don't implement controller support. One of the most used fucking features in a game. So kudos to you, developer. And for other developers watching, take note. Make it so this fucking works with your game assholes. So I'm playing as a shadow man, uh, or woman. I, I can't really tell. I should not assume the shadow person's gender. I guess I'm playing a gender neutral emo with a big sword with one fucking eye. So let's go. Okay, well, uh, invisible wall the first five seconds into the game. That's lovely. I love this. You could have just put a wall here. It's just fucking open and you can't go through this way. It looks like you can go that way. Look at it. I want to check out what's over there. There's like forests and rocks and shit. Come on, developer. Don't entice me with new environments and then make it so I can't go to them. What's this thing? That looks like a skeleton vulture. Someone really stretched out this thing's neck. It's like they put him on a medieval rack and they just kept cranking and someone forgot to stop. Maybe the executioner was just distracted by his buddy over at the guillotine. He just kept cranking, talking to his buddy, and then he turns back to this poor bird and he's like, OH SHIT! Oh, it's a crow. That makes it even worse! His neck must have been stretched out way fucking further. At least vultures start with a longer neck. Wow! I'm sorry, crow. Fool creature. Aw, oh, come on, rotten crow. You don't have to put yourself down like that. A shadow shouldn't be here. So skip. So skip. S skip fucking what? Stones? Skip the game? Skip the dialogue? Skip what? Wow, he's really doubling down on this fucking skip thing. Skip, 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 skip! Those of my kind were created to collect stories. We listen, we look, and record the life of everything worth it. Something about that sentence doesn't sound right. We look and record the life of everything worth it. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't fucking make sense to me. We look and record the life of everything worth it. Dude, proofread your fucking game. That doesn't make sense. Do you mean we look and record the life and everything worth it? I, even that doesn't fucking sound right. You are empty. Really? I'm fucking empty? Do you not see this big glowing red thing in my fucking chest? How am I empty? I don't know what it is and I'm kind of worried about it, but it sure as hell doesn't make me empty, Crow. You shouldn't exist. What? You shouldn't fucking exist. You're the skeleton of a tortured crow. Fuck you, I shouldn't exist. We won't talk again. Not if you don't have a better story to tell us. I can't double jump, which is a shame. Square does slashy slash moves with the sword. If you jump and press square, you fly like a fucking eagle. Wah! Hey, crow! Look it! I can fly! Unlike you, you wingless fuck! Hey, remember when you said we wouldn't talk again? We're talking again. <laughs> you fucking liar! I'm just gonna sit here and fucking troll you the whole game. Continuing down the path of shadow. What's looming over there? Uh, what the hell? It looks like a spindle on its right arm, right? And its left arm is like half of a scissor. Am I fucking tiny? I guess that makes sense. Let's kill this fucking monstrosity. Can I lock on? Oh, there is a lock on. Oh shit. Circle is deflect or parry because you can't hold the button down to keep the sword in front of you like a shield. 
So I don't know if there is a shield in this game. I don't know what triangle does. It makes me have little halos above my head. But they're not helping, so I'm just gonna ignore them. This gives me a reticle, so do I get to shoot at some point in this fucking game? Because that would be pretty fucking badass. Give me some shadow bullets. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Shadow man running across the shadow land. Oh, guess what I just figured out? You can't pause the fucking game. Wonderful. What is this? This is like the saddest Christmas tree ever. This makes Charlie Brown's Christmas tree look like a fucking monolith. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just roaming around. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be up here. Nope, I, uh, I'm not. I just broke the fucking game. I just broke the fucking game. Oh my word. Oh my fucking word. Can I get out of this? Can I get out of this predicament that I put myself in? Developer, fix your damn game. Holy shit. I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. I look like a black widow in here. I'm just gonna assault someone through a trap door. Whoosh, whoosh. I'm fucking stuck. I'm gonna have to restart the game. I'm gonna have to restart the game. Hey, developer, guess what? Fuck you. I have to restart the game. So here we are back at the fucking title screen. And look, there is another button added to the plethora of options on the title screen. It says continue. And I guess it's so you can continue from when you glitch out of this broken ass game. At least the checkpoints were implemented well, because this is pretty much where I glitched out or died right near the sad Christmas tree. So good job, developer. Plus one point. That puts you at negative 92. Oh god! It's another one of you! I don't know what you are. Oh, there's two of you! And you're glitching out like shit. What can you do against the shadow? Gender queer. Oh yeah! Gender queer powers. What I can talk to this thing? This is just the head of a crow! This doesn't even have the body like the other one! Oh, this is the one from the guillotine! Remember he was talking to his buddy? Well, this is what his buddy was doing! Hey, you headless crow fuck! So many regrets! Yeah, like getting your head cut off? I bet that's a big fucking regret. Once upon a time where the times was- Where the times was good. Where the times was good. <laughs> is anyone proofread their fucking games? This is like Bimmy and Jimmy shit. Wait, that's it? Was that part of a story as told by a dyslexic crow? Oh wait, am I going backwards? I'm going fucking backwards. So I don't know what the enemies are. They look like makeshift monsters from just stuff lying around the house. But I'm kind of digging it. I think they look pretty fucking cool, honestly. What the fuck is that? What? The rock's just moving! Are you an enemy? Oh god! No, I was trying to follow the rock! It led me into a trap! Oh! Now there's spider thimbles and shit! So the combat is, uh, smooth like fucking butter, if you couldn't tell. Like fucking butter, this gameplay, I'm telling you. What? You can shoot? I don't see a health bar, so where's my fucking health bar? Maybe I'm invincible and this whole game is pointless. Like, why bother giving me enemies if I'm invincible? Are you just trying to show off this game? Maybe it's like a tech demo. How did I teleport all the way over there? That makes no fucking sense. So if you run and you press circle, you dash. So that's kind of neat. Shadow dashing, shadow dashing, badass, whoa. Wait, what is this? A moving rock and a moving trash can? I can't kill them. Are they my friends? I want to keep you. This one. I want to keep this one. Oh no, not you. I don't want to keep you. So this spider has a face like Dark Side from Twisted Metal Black. I'm kind of digging it. Kind of pretty in a way. And now it's kind of dead. What's with all this skip shit? We've been over this. There's an old mansion behind me. An old ruin with countless stories in it. Well, which one is it? Is it an old mansion or a fucking old ruin? Make up your mind, dickhead! You will surely find something that could interest us. What do you mean, us? There's no fucking us. You said you didn't want to talk to me. You told me to skip. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll share something with you. With us. Here, see this sword? I'm gonna plow it through your fucking skull. How you like that for sharing? Developer, if you're gonna have a jump attack move, have it so it hits the fucking enemy. I'm just saying. Just saying! Wow! What was that?! This game is so not ready to play. This is like pre-alpha stage crap. Get out of my face! Oh, wow! How'd I go over you? You're locked on! If you're locked on, you should go right on the enemy when you hit the attack! Not fly over them 50 miles away! Looks like they like birds, but what'd they put in these square cages? More birds? What's with the fucking birds? Hi. 
He won't even talk to me now. He's just, he, he's super upset that I yelled at him earlier and I tried to kill him with a sword that he won't even fucking talk to me now. It's fine, asshole. I don't want to talk to you anyways. Oh, look, another crow head. Hey, crow head, you're nicer than the other crow. So many thing nobody wants to forget. <laughs> you mean so many things nobody wants to forget? Wow, so many thing. That one thing that nobody wants to forget. So many of that one thing. So many of that thing. A star for each moment with you. A memento of what we did. <laughs> what did we do? Did we take a we? Did you and I, like, piss off a cliff together or something? I know you're nicer than the other crow, but did we bond? We had, like, a pissing experience? I pee sitting down, so I don't know what the fuck you did, buddy. You don't even have a dick! Or a vagina! As far as I know, unless it's stuck behind that wall, how do you fucking go to the bathroom? How do you exist? Wait, so does he get a star for each moment with me? That's what it says, a star for each moment with you. So, he's just collecting stars. Is he getting graded or something? Is this like a fucking school project? I don't want to talk to these things anymore. They're stupid and they don't speak proper English. I am having a pretty good time just running around exploring this area. The combat shit and the dialogue is written poorly, but I kind of dig the graphics, and as glitchy as my character is, uh, I kind of dig him too, or her, or them, them. Fucking genderqueer emo. Another one of these? Are you all different heads? Or are you all the same head that just sprout about all over the place? I mean, teleportation's pretty useful if you have no legs. So many instants. Wait, so many instants? Wait, no, 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 we're going back, we're going back. So many instants! <laughs> the only time anyone should say so many instants is if you're playing Magic the Gathering and someone has like a red deck or something and they're just fucking nailing you with lightning bolts or fireballs and it's like so many instants, holy shit. Yeah, I'm a fucking geek. The mother's finally gone with her child for the eternity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I actually really like this game because it's making me laugh. I I haven't laughed this much since I played Trover Saves the Universe. And even Trover, I think, is less funny because it's supposed to be a funny game. This isn't supposed to be funny at all, which makes it great. This is like the room of video games. You ever see the room with Tommy Wiseau? This is that but personified as a game. But the only remain of this child is an empty puppet. What does that even mean? So not only do I have to kill monsters and platform, but I have to decipher the fucking codes they're giving me in the form of dialogue. I know the developer's native language is probably not English, so I appreciate the attempt, but just have someone American or English proofread this for you. I'll proofread it for you for free. Just be sure not to have a Trump supporter proofread it because they probably think the grammar's perfect. Uh, so I was walking around and I got fucking stuck in this. I didn't jump. I just walked near it and uh, I got fucking stuck. So guess what that means? I have to reset the fucking game again! <laughs> I bet the continue buttons just for these fucking glitches. E e e e emo party emo party 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 e e e e emo party 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 party. Got black jeans, I got dark mountain skin that's thick and the heart that's hard and pocket full of pencils. Let's get arty. What 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 emo party? So it turns out these sad stars are actually the checkpoints of the game. Because twice when I continued from two glitches from the developer's fucking game, it brought me back to these stars. That's super useful to know. Too bad the game didn't tell me that. I had to figure everything out on my fucking own. I'm afraid to climb rocks because I'm worried I'll fall through them again and be glitched forever and restart the game three times. I think if I have to restart the game one more time, I'm not going to play it anymore. A broken game is not fun, even if it does look cool aesthetically. Like, see this? I'm climbing this, and I don't even know if I'm allowed to. And for all I know, I'm about to glitch the fucking game out. Like, see? I don't think I'm supposed to go down there. But why does he have me going up here? I'd rather have the invisible walls than glitch out. I know I gave the developer crap for putting an invisible wall up at the beginning of the game, but I'll take that over falling through the scenery and getting caught on the environment any day. Wait, didn't I kill you guys already? Fucking A again. This is one of the most basic games I've ever played. 
like, there's no points, there's no experience, there's no armor or weapons you can pick up, there's no health, there's no mana. All you do is swing a sword at cool looking monsters. At least they're cool. Oh look, even the villain's getting caught on scenery. <laughs> oh, this game is fucking broken. What is this, a slide? It looks like a slide. Whee! Woohoo! It's the most fun I've had in the game so far. Another thing to talk to. This actually looks like a complete character. It looks like someone hunched over in a cloak with a whole fucking body. This is amazing. It's not a creepy stretched out crow or just a crow's head. Oh, children's, keep calm, please. Children's, I don't see one child around, let alone children's. Excuse us, it's the first time we see a shadow with such a presence. Oh my God. It's the crows who lead you to me? I don't think so. These old grumpy don't help people of our kind. <laughs> Guys, I, uh... I can't keep reading this dialogue. I, I feel dumber every time I read it. I'm gonna start talking like these characters. I'm gonna say, I went to grocery store and do good with great day. It's what you're doing to me, game! And in your state, you aren't capable of much. Without a body, you will vanish. Amazing developer, amazing! That was a coherent sentence. Wow, I am impressed. I guess we just get out of here then? Let's go through here. Yeah, fuck that. Hey, see you later, enemy. <laughs> I ran away from the enemy and it unglitched and it's glitched again. <laughs> oh. This game is trash. I'm just gonna run away from every single enemy because I don't think you have to kill them to beat this game. Press E near glass orb and white wave to- White wave? What are you talking about? Uh oh. I don't think I can outrun these guys though because I have to do this puzzle. I'm just gonna kill them real quick because these guys are so easy to kill. Wait, there's more of them? I thought this was gonna be a quick fight. I should have known better. It takes 90 hits to kill one of these damn spiders. I don't think I have a health bar, so I'm just going to attack until they both die and not care about blocking. Yeah, that's what I did. I just beat them by attacking them relentlessly. Even though I got hit, I never died. It's kind of nice because you can just relax. You don't have to worry about death and explore your surroundings and do puzzles and take in the environment. But if that's the case, why bother having the combat anyways? You can make the game like Rhyme or Abzu, a game like that, like Journey, any game where you can just roam around and enjoy yourself. That's what this guy should have made, but instead, I'm killing spiders that don't kill me. Maybe I've just been lucky so far. Maybe eventually I will get killed by something, but probably not, and something's missing from this frame. So let's go find it. This looks like the little lens that I have to use for the puzzle. How do I pick you up? E is to take. All right, there we go, gotcha. I'm trying to put it in. How do I fucking put it in? Get up there. There we go, haha. -ha. It said E to look, not E to place, but for some fucking reason, I placed it anyways when I looked at it. Basic puzzles. Basic puzzles I've played in Ratchet and Clank. Ooh, ooh. What do you know? These puzzles are so basic. Haha, -ha, I think I got it. Look at all these light beams. It's pointing in this direction. Let's go. I'm going to follow the beams. Don't know where I'm going, but the beams will guide me. Follow the magical light, and everything will be alright. Look out, super light powers going up here. Fuck you, enemies don't have to fight you. I pass all the enemies. Oh, 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 look at this! The coffin's dropping! Is Dracula in there? It's like a safe spot on the coffin. This isn't Dracula at all. You look nothing like Dracula. I thought I was gonna fight a cool looking vampire, but it's the same fucking enemies I've been fighting. So I'm not digging the enemy variety in this game. I'm fighting the same enemies over and over again. And that's a total of two fucking enemies. And this camera is fucking horrible. Holy shit, lock on to him, dickhead. No, you're locked on, right? So why aren't you aiming at him? You shit. 
Oh no, there's more. Oh no, there's more. Oh wait, look! It's a new enemy! I was just bitching about it, but there's a new enemy! It's Spiky Spiky Stilt Man! Oh, Spiky Spiky Stilt Man! He also has copper wiring for his head. I see a theme here. I think the theme is lame. Is lame the theme, developer? Because you're nailing it. You're fucking nailing it with these controls. And this fucking camera, you're nailing it! I, ca I can't see what I'm fighting. I can't see what the fuck I'm fighting! Killing all the copper monsters! What can you hope to achieve? With my invincibility, I can't die. I can't be killed. Super gender queer shadow. Alright, so I think that's all the enemies. So, open up, coffin. Open up. Does the coffin just not open up? Why am I even fucking here? Can I jump on the coffin? Oh, I collected the coffin? Holy shit! I'm like the dude from Gungrave Overdose. Pa -pa -pa -pa! I don't have any guns though. I'm fucking lame. So I don't have any new moves with the coffin. Unless the new ability is to make the sun turn into fucking blood. Because that's what happened after I picked up this coffin. It's just pure fucking blood. Another one of you guys. What's up? So many lost time. Oh no! I'm getting attacked! I can't pay attention to all the typos. I have to fight these enemies. So, uh, this is great. This fucking angle's great for fighting. What am I hitting? There I am. Wow. Oh my god, I hate this fucking game. Kill him! Kill him, asshole! Fucking die! Holy shit, you're stuck in a corner! Now I killed all the enemies, so let's talk to this crow. So many lost time. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna touch it. Let's just fucking go. They lived and the time has passed. Turn and turn the hands of the clock. Child grown up under the covered by the forest. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got nothing to say. Oh. Fuck comedy shows. Skip Bill Burr and Jim Jeffries. Next time they're in town, just play this fucking game and you'll laugh your fucking tits off. Where do I go with this coffin? Where do I go with this coffin? Hey you, where do I go with this coffin? Old lady, do you want this coffin? I'm trying to get rid of a coffin. Who wants to buy this coffin? It's small, so there's probably a dead child in it. Who wants to buy this small coffin with a dead child in it? You ma'am, you look like you want a dead child. Oh, you do! Holy shit! Oh god, no, I'm trying to fucking figure out what to do with the coffin! Oh my- what the fuck? Am I stuck again? Uh, uh, what the fuck?! This game is nonsense! Okay, night lady, where were we? As long as its former owner has not abandoned it, you will not be able to seize it. Who's its former owner?! He will surely guide you to him for take it back. For take it back. <sighs> All right, let's go see if he four takes it back. Remember when I played that game, Blood Moon Samurai? I feel like this game should be called Blood Moon Samurai because it's red as fuck. What, is this an actual boss? Looks like a cookie that's half bit. Oh my God, oh no, Dollmaker. Stop attacking me with your fucking bullshit moves. Block, ah. Block, did it work? Block work? I don't know if it's working. Look at the fucking doll maker's health bar. It's long as shit! How am I supposed to kill this thing? It's gonna take 20 hours! Wait, did I actually die? I actually could die?! Oh my god, I thought I was fucking invincible! This isn't Dark Souls, developer. You don't have to try and make a masterpiece. Just saying. Jump attack from all over the place. How can you defeat me? You will gain invincibility. Did I just break the fucking boss? Stop moving for a minute. Oh, um, why are you adding ads? Why are you adding ads? You have a long enough health bar by yourself. Fuck you, spiders. Oh my word, this boss is so tedious. It's so fucking tedious. Fuck off, tedious spider. 
What? There's more tedious spiders? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna ignore the spiders and just attack this. Look at how many fucking spiders there are! I killed one and she summoned like 20! Holy crap! Fucking die forever! I don't even have any special attacks. My special attack is getting fucking slaughtered by a million spiders. I'm trying to isolate him, she keeps following her fucking butt buddies! Get rid of your posse so I can kill you! What are they even shooting? Are they shooting quills? You're not a fucking cactus! This tedious news has to stop! Tedious boss fight. Holy shit. It's a tedious boss fight. What you gonna do with the tedious boss fight? Ooh, tedious boss fight. Copper wire monsters. Summoning untold enemies to fight you. Too many. Too fucking many. Where's my health bar? I can't see my health bar. Is it that little red thing at the bottom? Fucking God! Look, there's so many spiders, they're fucking compounding on each other. They're not supposed to be doing gymnastics! Get the fuck away! I can't get out! I'm gonna fucking die! I fucking died. I'm gonna get out of there! I fucking died! At least I found out where my health is, all the way fucking down there. And guess what? We're starting at the fucking beginning again. I think I have to kill those spiders. I, I don't even know where my fucking character is! I can't fucking see him! Holy shit! Shit. Oh my fucking god. Why am I playing this still? Wait, he gets all his fucking health back and all the spiders? Are you fucking kidding me? No, oh no, I can't fucking do this. I'll try one more time and if I die, that's it. We are done this fucking game forever. You know what I just thought of? This boss is the owner of this coffin. How the fuck did that thing fit in this coffin? Is assembly required to put that bitch together? Because there's no way in hell she fits in this coffin like that. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. This isn't even fair. How? Hold on. Maybe we can cheat. The game is designed horribly, right? So if we take the spiders all the way far away, right? Like, just fucking all the way over here. Look at that! Look at the horrible gameplay! I fucking outsmart the game! I fucking outsmart the game! Fucking where's your spiders now, asshole? Is my health regenerating? My health regenerates! I just noticed! It's hard to tell because my health bar is the size of a gnat's dick. I can't fucking see it. I can't even trick the boss forever, you know why? She keeps spawning new spiders and they're just gonna get worse. Wow, wow. <laughs> the enemies are just compiling on each other. Even the boss is compiling on his own fucking monsters. <laughs> Waiting for the boss to come over. There's no monsters here. And when the boss gets here, I will make her disappear. I think she's fucking stuck. Guys. The boss is fucking stuck. This gives me time to drink my fucking coffee. Let's watch this thing struggle. <sighs> what a delicious sip of coffee. And I can drink the whole thing, you know why? Because the boss isn't going anywhere. The boss is going fucking nowhere. Let's run away over here again. Maybe the boss will glitch out. Oh, it did! The boss can't handle this area! The boss can't handle this area! Hey, uh, developer! Your game is fucking shit! Your game is fucking shit! I don't want to be too harsh on the developer because I do actually like the design of this monster. This monster looks pretty neat. But, uh, everything else is fucking trash. I fucking hate this game. It's, it's pretty awful. This game could be fun if I wasn't bouncing all over the fucking place and the camera wasn't on a swivel like someone getting his neck broken and just keep spinning it and twisting it till it fucking falls off and you kick the head down the fucking staircase but it's still going, it's still rolling, it's like the head's the fucking camera and then it gets hit by a truck and it goes flying across the highway that's what the fucking camera is, it's like this, it's like this I should be finishing Resident Evil 2, why am I playing this fucking shit everyone's waiting for you to finish Resident Evil 2 God damn myself. I also like this boss music. It does sound pretty epic, especially for a game that barely has any fucking music in general. I hope, like, the volume didn't just get super fucked up and now you can't hear me speak because there's a lot of stuff I'm saying you can't hear because of the fucking music, probably. Where'd the boss go? I don't even see the fucking boss. Oh, there you are, stuck on another fucking pillar. What is that? What is- what am I even fucking looking at? Look at this! Look at that! 
What is this? Wow! To the point where there's so many enemies that I don't think I can get him by himself. I think I have to just hope that the spiders will go past him, right? And then I have to go over him like this. Be like, whack, whack, whack real quick. And then fucking run away. I'm doing this for you guys. I would have turned this game off a long time ago. But I have a feeling you guys want to see the conclusion to this epic fucking story. Final Fantasy, eat your heart out. Oh shit. Yeah, I got your coffin. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna fucking do about it, you little bitch? Oh, you want your coffin back? You fucking bad. <laughs> Dollmaker's almost dead. Oh my word! Look at all this shit! You're gonna break the game by summoning so many enemies. I don't think this fucking piece of shit can handle all of this. I honestly should give the developer some credit, because with all this shit on screen, there should be some slowdown, especially for a game of this caliber, but there really isn't. This is like some Dynasty Warriors shit. Uh, good job, developer. And now the boss is stuck in his own minions. You reap what you sow, dickhead. Kill him. Fucking kill him. Go quick. Kill him. He doesn't have a lot of health. Just fucking whack him. Just fucking whack him! You're dead! You're dead, you piece of shit! Wait. Do these guys disappear too? Fuck you guys. I'm not, I'm not sticking around and killing you. Are you kidding me? Dude. Crow dude. You handle all of them, and I'm gonna handle this coffin. Fucking see ya. What do you mean it's unusable? I fucking killed the boss, right? Was that not the boss's coffin? I mean, that makes sense, because how would he fit in this coffin anyways, like I said earlier, but still, whose coffin is it? I was clearly going the right way, right? So I have to go back down there and look for the rightful owner? I like how the music's super calm right now, and the blood moon is gone. Everything's pretty again, except for the controls and the camera and my sanity. Nothing about my sanity is pretty right now. Lay the coffin here. Okay. Now what do I do with it? Okay, that was twitchy as fuck. Oh wait! Is that my girlfriend? Hey! Hey, I'm I'm genderqueer shadow person. Do you wanna be genderqueer shadow person too? We can be gay or straight or whatever lovers together. Oh wait! Was that my body and I was the soul of that person? So am I not genderqueer? I'm just I'm just a cis female? Or am I still genderqueer, but I was born cis female, at least physically, and I'm fucking confusing myself, but I'm pretty sure that I'm still genderqueer because that's hot. At least Crow should be satisfied. Wait, why? Because they like stories? This is a pretty horrible story, honestly. I went to this mansion, and after playing with a few mirrors, I got to fight this giant half-eaten cookie metal monster. And then I got my own body back, even though I was carrying it, but I had to put it over there for some reason. Bring this thing where it should be! Wait, that was the ending? That was the whole fucking thing? When the night lady's like, bring the thing to me, what's the thing? Is it my character? Is it the fucking coffin? Is it supposed to be, like, a cliffhanger? Because, hey, listen, developer, who made this fucking game, you don't have to make cliffhangers. Just jump off the fucking cliff, because no one wants to play a sequel to this fucking game. Holy shit, I hate this thing. Alright, 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 let's be fair. Let's be fair. Uh, I didn't mind the art style. The art style was pretty neat. I actually liked uh, the design. Good job, developer. Uh, even the monsters, even though there were only, like, a handful, four total, I believe, they, uh, they looked pretty cool. And I think I know what he was going for with the story. It was hard to follow a little bit because of all the typos and the crows were super vague. So it kind of takes you out of it. But I, I kind of get the sense that you're just trying to get your body back from some evil force. And to do that, you have to jump through a bunch of hoops. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, I just wish that you fucking proofread your stuff. I also liked the autosave. Speaking of the autosave, let's talk about the stuff I abhor about this fucking game. The autosaves are probably there to help you from the massive fucking glitches that are strewn about the whole game. I had to restart the game twice, and I'm surprised I didn't have to start it a third time. A couple times I thought I'd have to. I get stuck for a minute, or those fucking spiders were compiling on each other. I thought there was going to be too many to even fight the fucking boss. But luckily, I didn't have to do that, but that goes to the next problem. I feel like the game's pretty much broken. You really only have to fight twice during the entire game. Once when you get the coffin, and once to fight the boss. Every other enemy you can just run past. Why even bother fucking having them? And you had one puzzle. 
one fucking puzzle, which was the stupid light turning thing, which was easy as dicks. And don't tell me that getting the coffin and putting it down is a puzzle. It's not. It's part of the story. You're supposed to grab the coffin, go over there, beat the boss, plant it in. That's not a puzzle. That's tedium. And I absolutely hate that last boss. First of all, his health bar, way too long. Secondly, he shouldn't be able to summon an infinite amount of spiders. There were like 30 fucking spiders. It takes like 20 hits to kill one of them. What made you think it was a good idea to keep spawning them? You should have it so when you get one third or maybe halfway down the health bar, the thing summons spiders. Then you get another quarter and he summons more spiders. That would have been fine. That's like typical video game shit. But this is like, nah, he just has a move where he summons spiders. So that that clogs up the fucking game so bad. If that was your intention, then good job because it definitely kept me on my toes. But you know what it wasn't? fucking fun like your game's supposed to be i also don't like the interface it took me the entire game to figure out i had a health bar at the bottom left it was that fucking tiny and it was this fucking long how am i supposed to know that's my health i'm looking up here like oh where's my health bar and you barely see the red dot down there couple that with the fact that i wasn't really trying to keep myself out of harm's way i thought it was fucking invincible i thought you screwed up and you did by making this fucking game i hate it the controls aren't great the lock on works but it sometimes goes to the enemy you don't want it to go to. If you can switch to and fro enemies, I haven't discovered it. I tried, but I was in the panic fighting the boss, so I don't actually know if I could. The jump attack sends you flying across the fucking screen. It makes no sense. You're like, oh, the spider's right here, locked on. Let's fly the fuck over here, way past it. I left that spider in fucking China. I'm in Brazil. What the hell happened? Worst of all was that fucking camera. I could get past the bad dialogue. I could get past the unfair boss fight. I can get past the convoluted story. But what I can't get past is how bad the camera is. I had to fight stuff that I couldn't fucking see. And sometimes when I'm fighting an enemy and I jump, the camera swivels around like we're in fucking Twister. I don't know why the guy called this game Heritage, but buddy, if you make a sequel to this, make sure that your next game doesn't inherit bad controls, bad camera, and nonsensical enemy bosses. Just fix all that, have someone proofread your shit, and maybe I'll try it. Fuck this game, let's play Resident Evil.